Hello, good people. Here we have this first time power of say, 3 to the power of 1 all over x times 2 to the power of x equal to 6. What is the value of x here? Yeah. So let's solve this systematically. So we're going to take a solution. Okay. Now the first thing we're going to do here is just to align both sides of the equation, right? So let's take um, the natural log. Both sides we have here 3 to the power of 1 all over x uh, times 2 to the power of x equals to ln of 6. Easy. Now, uh, this is uh, uh, multiplication. Let's try to apply the uh, multiplication law of logarithm. We say that if you have your, let's say, your uh, ln of a, a, okay, a, b, let's say a, b, this is equal to the ln of your a plus the ln of your b, right? Okay, so if we apply this law here, then we can bring that here to give us here the ln of our 3 to the power of 1 all over x is x plus 3 x there plus the ln of 2 to the power of x this is equal to ln of our 6 here. Okay, so what we do here, we apply the another law which is called the exponent law of logarithm to say that if you have the ln of your let's take um, uh, p to the power of your x it says move this back here so this is going to give us here our x into the ln of our p so again we're going to apply this law to all the terms we have here so this now implies that the one all over x here into the ln of our three the plugs our x into ln of 2, this is equal to the ln of 6. Okay, so with this, we have to eliminate this fraction here. So we multiply through by x. So let's multiply this by x, multiply this by x, and multiply this by x. We do this, this is going to give us our x uh, times 1 all over x into ln of 3, the plugs our x here times another x into ln of 2, let's put this in bracket, that equal to our x times ln of 6. Of course, this, this will leave the system. So we're now left with our ln of 3, then plus our x to the power of 2, ln of 2, equal to x ln of 6. We just have to move this term to this side of the equation and arrange the equation very well. So this is going to give us here, yeah, we're going to start with this. So this is going to give us our x to the power of 2, ln of 2, okay, then, yeah, minus our x, then ln of 6, then plus our ln of 3, okay, everything equal to 0. So what kind of equation is this? This is more or less a quadratic equation, okay, in x. This is a quadratic equation in x. So what we do here now is easy. We have to solve this quadratically. We have to solve this quadratically. So let's use the formula method. So we're going to have our x is equal to minus b plus minus the square root of our b squared minus 4 is c, everything all over 2a. So what is our a here? a is here, right? Which is ln of 2. The b is what? Uh, minus, yeah, we're going to have here, uh, minus ln of 6. And our c is ln of 3. Easy. So let's substitute these values into our equation. So this is going to give us uh, x is equal to, look at our b. So we have minus, bracket, minus ln of 6, close bracket plus minus the square root of minus the ln of 6, okay, then yeah. minus 4, into what is our a? Our a is ln of 2, then yeah. what is our b? Sorry, our c is ln of 3, close bracket, okay, everything all over the 2 into um, our a, which is ln of two. Oh, so this this will give us plus. So
So this will now give us here ln of 6 the plus minus the square root. Here we are having ln of 2 times ln of 3 here, right? Okay, so sorry, here we have squared this. Okay, so with this, we use this to affect the, this will give us plus. So if this gives us plus, we can now rewrite this as ln of 2 times 3, right? Which automatically will give us ln of 6. And if we apply the product law again, um, yeah, uh, the multiplication law, it will give us this. So you discover that what we have here can be expressed in this format again. So rewriting this, this will now give us here the ln, um, we have ln of 2 there plus ln of 3. In bracket, r to the power of 2, then minus 4 into the ln of 2, close bracket, into ln of 3, close bracket. Everything all over our 2 into ln of 2. Easy. Okay. So what we do here, so from here, all we just need to do is just to apply the um, algebraic identity, right? Which says that if you have your your a plus b r to the power of two, this is equal to our a to the power of two, there plus two a b plus b to the power of two. Okay, so we want to apply that to this expression we have in here now. So doing that, this greater will give us here our ln of six the plus minus the square root. Let's extend this down. So we're going to have here, uh, here we're going to have our a, so we have here ln of 2 r to the power of 2, then plus 2 into ln of 2, there into ln of 3, close bracket, then plus our ln of 3 r to the power of 2, minus our 4 into ln of 2, then bracket ln of 3. Oh, we just have to conserve this space here. All right. So all over our 2, ln of 2. Okay. So we now discover that here we are having 2 to ln of 2, ln of 3. Then we are having 4 to ln of 2, ln of 3. So we can carry out a simple arithmetic here. So this will give us um, minus uh, 2 into ln of 2, ln of 3, right? So, automatically, this is going to give us ln of 6 plus minus, yeah, the square root, okay? Let it spirit of this. So, yeah, we're going to have here yeah, ln of 2 all to the power of 2, okay? Yeah, minus, you're going to have 2 into ln of uh, 2, yeah? Doing this way, yeah? into ln of 3. Again, right? Then, uh, yeah, we're going to have plus. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we're going to have, yeah, plus, yeah, plus our ln of 3 r to the power of 2. Oh, this is serious. Okay, everything, here yeah, all over our 2 into ln of 2. So, let's continue on this side of the board and see what this gives us in turn. Again, we can look at this carefully with what we have here. Look at our algebraic identity. If we put in minus here, then here we to take minus. So we can rewrite the whole of this in this format here to eliminate this radical. So we're going to have our x. So we have our x will now be equal to the ln of 6 plus um, uh, minus um, square root. Is going to give us bracket our uh, ln of 2 minus ln of 3 r to the power of 2, everything all over 2 ln of uh, our 2 here. Easy. So at this point, this is what we are fighting for. Just how to eradicate this. So see that since we'll be able to eliminate this, so we now have our system open. And um, look at what we have here. We are having ln of 2 minus ln of 3. And um, we got this from um, what, our ln of uh, 6, our ln of 6 here, right? 
So let's rewrite this also. So this is going to give us here our ln of 2, okay, there flux ln of 3, there flux minus ln of 2 minus ln of 3. But let's put this in bracket. There everything all over 2 into ln of 2. So we have two cases here now. The one of the flux and that of negative. So let's take our case one. So we're gonna have here case one. This one, let's take the one of positive. So we're gonna have our x one is equal to our ln of two, the flux, ln of three, the flux, our ln of two minus ln of three. Everything here, all of our two to ln of two. So check out something here now. This we go with this. So this plus this will give us 2 ln of 2. So we're going to have this to be our 2 ln of 2, all of our 2 ln of 2. Automatically, this will give us 1. Okay? But this will go with this. So this is our x1. So therefore, our x1 is equal to 1. Okay. Right. Now, if you look at the original equation, if we put 1 here, this is going to give us 3 to the power of 1. And this is going to give us 2 to the power of 1. So 3 times 2 will give us 6. So it shows that 1 is one of the roots. So how do we get the second root? Let's take our case 2 from here now. So let's erase this. Taking our case 2, so have here our case 2. We have our x2 will now be equal to the ln of 2, the flux ln of 3 minus now, this minus, we affect everything here. So it's going to give us minus ln of 2, the flux. So this minus times this minus will give us flux ln of 3. Everything all over ln, sorry, 2 into ln of 2. Okay, so let's see if we can continue on this side here. Here, ln of 2, we go with ln of 2. So we have here this, we go with this. So we have this plus this will give us 2 into ln of 3. All of us, 2 into ln of 2. This, this, to leave the system. So we're going to have our x2 is equal to our ln of 3 all of our ln of our 2. Now, the question now is this. This, if we uh, bring down the numerical value of this, will it satisfy this original equation? Yes, I've done that. Okay, so if you find the numerical value of this and you put it into this, everything is going to give you 5.992 or seven hours, which is approximate value. So this is going to give you the approximate value. And again, on this other side, we have um, our x1 is equal to 1. Okay, so these are the two values that will satisfy our original equation. Okay. So this brings us to the end of this math class. If you learned something from this video tutorial, then give the video a thumbs up. And if you are not clear in any of the steps, then drop it in the comment section. And above all, if you have a better method, a better way of solving this same math challenge without wasting much time, drop it in the comment section so that we, or like math TV, can probably learn from you. Thanks for watching Online Miles TV. Keep watching Online Miles TV till we meet you in our next class. Bye for now. And do not forget to win within the week and beyond the week. See you.